This program was made possible by USAID and AGRA, supported by MOFA. Good farming. There are a lot of challenges in farming, be it in the field of policy, agronomic practices, improved and certified seed, input use, and agreed business services. Kuyapa introduces a cowpea farmer, Men Sangbojoy, to good agricultural practices in cowpea production. Heat and drought stress are major constraints to cowpea production in Ghana. In this episode, Kuyapa will educate farmers on improved certified seed varieties available for farmers which has early maturing with improved yields over the unknown seed varieties. After traveling for a while, admiring the beautiful landscape of Ghana, we finally arrived at our destination, Ekufu Kruduya, in the central region where an expert advice is needed. The show that teaches you on how to turn your, your farm, farm, your family, your crops and animals into a better one. Welcome to Kia Farm. Farmer Mei Sangbojui was eagerly waiting for us. Mei Sangbojui is a 49-year-old farmer who hails from the Volta region of Ghana and however relocated to Ekufu Kruduya in the central region. For many people here, farming and home-brewed alcoholic spirits known as Akpeteshi are their main activities and Mensa is not left behind. How many people do you live with? I live with seven people, my wife, five children and two nieces. What do you actually grow here, Mensa? I grow maize, cassava, sugarcane, pineapple and cowpea. So how long have you been farming? 25 years. 25 years? Wow. Do you, do you enjoy it? Mm. Previously, I enjoyed being a farmer, but lack of land is affecting farming now. But I'm happy being a farmer. Okay. And apart from farming, what else do you do? I own a corn mill that I work with. When it gets to the harvesting time, how much do you get? When I cultivate maize, cassava and cowpea, I'm able to harvest seven bags of maize, four bags of gari from the cassava. Even though I don't keep records, I know I get low yield from my cowpea production. Also, pests and diseases affect my yield. Mesa, mm. let's visit your farm so that we can see how best Kuyapa can assist. Oh. 45 minutes walk from his community, Ekufu Kudria, is Mensa's two acres cowpea farm. He has been in the production of cowpea for the past 10 years. He's doing well, but he needs expert advice to increase his yield. What are some of the problems you face growing cowpea? Inadequate rains affect my cowpea yield. Getting the right pesticide to control the pest is also a problem. What insecticide do you use? 
I don't remember the name. Okay, okay. okay. And where do you get your seeds from? I buy it from the market. Does it have a name? Yes. What are the names? Vakli. Vakli. Yeah. And then the white one. Yeah. Do you plant all of them together? I plant them row by row. Okay, but on the same field. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> well, now that we're sure of what his challenges are, I think it's time for me to get the expert to tell us what Mason eats. Exactly. Problems identified. Low yield due to pests and diseases. Unknown seed variety. We are still in Ekufu Kruria in the central region of Ghana, where expert advice is needed. Farmer Mensa has been in cowpea production for the past 10 years, but still can't achieve the expected yield per acre. We invited a crop improvement officer, Adachi Lambert, from the Ministry of Food and Agriculture to help Kriapa identify what our farmer is doing wrong, hence resulting in low yield. So Mr. Lambert, we have seen the field now. I know you've made some observations. So what do you advise? The planting distance should be 60 by 20 centimeters. And the farmers, maybe they will not have the tape measure and other gadgets. So we advise them to use their cutlass, the long one that they used to weed. The brand new one, not the old one. Mm -hmm. They will get the 60 between rows. And the 20 centimeters, they can't divide the cutlass, they can count from the first node to the end. They can use the Wellington boots. The one foot is 30 centimeters. Mm -hmm. So they can get the other with the two legs for the 60 centimeters. Okay, so now he has to weed. The planting spacing should be done correctly. Yeah. And, and then seeds per? The hill should be two. Two. It shouldn't be more than more two. Than two. Yeah. Adachi identified three key problems, incorrect plant spacing, excess seed per hill, problem of weed control. With Adachi's advice, it was best to give our farmer training on good agricultural practices when planting cowpea. We visited Innovations Village Seed Company located in Farmer Mensa's region. Amwaku Eric, the production officer here, gave our farmer some training in planting cowpea. Know that it is wrong to buy unknown seeds from the market. You may be buying grains and planting a seed. There are improved certified seed variety available for farmers. Asumdre, Videza and Hewale, just to mention a few. Remember, always buy your seed from the agro dealer shop. Welcome to Thank Innovations you. Village Seed Company. Okay. Uh, Mr. Mesa, hey. like Kwapa promised you to help you improve your farming techniques in uh, cowpea production. Yes. We are here today to help you improve your good agricultural practices in cowpea production to increase your uh, production and for that matter your income. Okay. That's why we are here. Thank you. Good. Uh, before we start, where do you get your seeds? I buy for, from markets. Market? Yes. Not from the agro shop? No, no, no. I, I would advise you henceforth you buy from the agro shop. Okay. Yeah. There you are assured of good quality seeds. After you had acquired a good quality seeds from the agro shop, you prepare your land very well, then you plant. After that, you use the herbicide to blow it up. Yeah. yeah. Eric shows our farmer how to use seed dresser in treating seed before planting. This will enhance good germination and protect seedling from insects and fungal infections. This 60 centimeters in between rows. So if there's one row here, one here going down there. The recommended plant spacing is 60 centimeters between rows 
and 20 centimeters within rows. Plant two seeds per hill. Eric, what next after planting? After planting, what next? Is you can see some weeds around. Yeah. You have to take control of them before the plants germinate. Either than that, they compete with everything, nutrients and the aeration and everything with the plant. So to do that, you use the herbicide. Eric advises that a pre-emergent herbicide should be applied before the plant germinates. Herbicides are designed to control weeds and are useful in many situations for effective removal of weeds. Eric pours four cups of the lead of herbicide container to 15 liters of water. Mix it well before use. Herbicides should be measured and mixed in areas that are well ventilated, level and well lit. Eric shows Mensa the correct way of spraying. Remember, before using a chemical, read the label carefully. Pay particular attention to the directions for use. We'll be back in some few months to see how Mensa is using the expert advice he got. Sure, and this is Kuyapa, promoting good, good farming. farming. We are back in Ekufu Kuria to catch up with Farmer Mensa to see how the advice and monitoring he received from our experts has changed things for the better. I love my farm now. I'm happy about the results. Thank you for the good lessons you gave me. How do you see his progress after the advice you gave him? The weed control, the pest control, planting, the spacing. Very well. Mr. Mensa, uh, I guess you're a very happy farmer now. Yeah. Eric, do you have any advice for post harvest handling so that our farmer here doesn't lose his crops? Yes, there is. Okay. Uh, early harvesting from the field so that it doesn't get infested in the field. That's the first one. Then, after that, outside. Since his crop were about picking up fruit, it was important to show Farmer Mensa how to treat and store his cowpea after harvesting. With this, we are assured Farmer Mensa has taken a step towards good farming and will be able to increase his yield. I still see some debris. Yeah, so it's water. Yes, so that you spray. That's spray. Don't wet it too much. Don't wet it too much. Don't wet it too much. You have to spray enough. You mix it. Yes. Why do you have to use your feet and not any other materials? The boot is protecting the foot. It's protecting your foot. foot. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So the chemicals will not get to you. Okay. Yeah. But the boot must be clean. Must be clean. Yes. You can also use the shovel. The shovel to mix it. Okay. The shovel should also be clean. Okay. Any material that you're using, mixing it, that will 
the, the comfortable with. What about the hand in gloves? The hand in gloves, but the hand in gloves you have to go down and your, your clothing might get soaked. Okay, so your yeah. clothing yeah. and your nostrils yes. must be far yes. from the chemicals. Yes. That is why you use your feet. Yes. Okay, with a clean boot. Yes. Okay. With a clean boot. Should I wait for three months before eating? Yes. But with the atelic, you can spray and even eat the same day. You can use it today and eat it the same day. And cook it the same day. It's the only chemical for story that is recommended by World Health Organization. So, you just expose it to the air, the sun and the air, then for about two to three hours. After that, it's free. But the others, you have to leave it for days for the chemical to get out of it. After it's dried, you can pour it into an hematic bag to store it. This will prevent your produce from going bad. Emitepase how did you go, friends? Well, Mafia, now Mr. Mensah has full knowledge on how to store his produce right after harvest. Wow, congrats. That's it. Wait, now, should you do only a year, Juma? And you know, Kiapa, your knapsack. Yeah, would you be spray? Where in the Yo, I don't want to pop, 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 pop. And now, rub a bottle now. Eddie. It's been another exciting show right here in Akufu Krodia. We've had so much fun and we've learnt a lot. We hope to see you soon right, right here, here on Kiapa. We are talking about steps to take when you want to use pesticides in the most efficient, in the most effective, in the most appropriate way. It is only these ways that will make you have maximum yield from the use of the pesticide. Number one, before you attempt to buy the pesticides, make sure you buy it from a retailer that has been trained by EPA and Crop Life Ghana. These retailers have certificates that have been displayed in their shops. So make sure you see these certificates in their shops before you buy. It is only when you buy from these trained retailers that you are assured of the quality of the products you are buying. Number two, make sure that the pesticides that you are buying before you use it, you read the label carefully. It is only when you do that that you can be assured of the correct usage of the pesticides. If you can't read the label, get a relative or somebody who can read it, to read it for you to understand before you attempt to use it. The third one is make sure you have your overall, the hat, the gloves, the goggles, the respirator, and the Wellington boots available before you attempt to spray your farm. Either than that, you stand to enjoy yourself, the soil, and the environment at large. Don't be a hero. If you don't have it, never do it, or else you create a lot of problems for yourself, for the soil, and for the environment at large. Thank you. What I know for sure is that it isn't the farm that makes the farmer, but the love and hard work. For further information, contact our call center on 0577665186. You can visit our website www.kuyapagana.com and like our page on Facebook, Kuyapagana.
This program was made possible by USAID and AGRA, supported by MOFA.